So what's up, guys? Um, I wanted to make a big, a, a quick video. I'm so frustrated today because. Okay. I if you don't know, um, I've always had problems with numbers and formulas and math in general, and um, I'm kind of scared to go to my college because if you don't know I've been suspended from college for failing math too many times so I can't go back until August and it's so frustrating simply because I feel like a failure because I'm not in school so I always feel like I need to be busy with my time and just read that's what I'm doing reading looking at documentaries because I need to learn I feel like I need to learn something in my life so I've been doing a lot of research and I think I do have a learning disability called dyscalculia. Dyscalculia. It's kind of like dyslexia with reading, but dyscalculia. Dyscalculia. I can't even say it. See, it's like, I don't know, it, but it's it's been known for a while since I've done research. And I think I have that and I'm pretty sure I do because what I'm still trying to pass and what I failed was math 1033 which is uh, I think it's like college algebra but it's like the last one it's like a remedial it's still remedial um, but I can't get past basic math you know and and I'm and I was watching YouTube videos to see if I really had it and, and I started cracking up because I did see one girl and she said that she can only count with her fingers and I can do that you know but it's like if you if, if somebody gives me timetables and division you can't do that with your fingers you have to think with your head and I remember when I was little like in third grade I had problems counting coins and stuff I didn't learn to count money until I was like in like fifth grade or sixth grade or something like that but yeah it took time that isn't normal and then eighth grade I would fail in in twelfth grade I couldn't pass algebra two even with two teachers so I had to get night school and get some SAT class to graduate high school I'm pretty sure in middle school they passed me just with a D you know because teachers felt bad and I was a good student though but um, I'm pretty sure I have this learning dis disability, and I just I've been wanting to go to this college, but it's I'm like ashamed of it, and I'm I'm so just to go and be like, hey, look, I need to be I need to be evaluated, and I know I need to do it, and then it's it's frustrating because um I've always been embarrassed by it, even at work, people think I do things on purpose when I really don't, you know, like for example um. So I have to count with my fingers, right? Even when I go look at the time, I can't tell time with an analog clock. I I actually ask people to tell me what time is it. I can't tell time like unless I look at my phone. So it says 12:57. And I can tell time with the analog clock, but the only reason I understand it is because I know that the 6 is 30. Do you get me? So I've memorized that. But when it comes to the little hand, I really have to look at it to see what time is it. Do you get it? Do you get me? Okay, so then another thing is I can't do division in my head. For example, 7, I don't know, 8 plus 10. I got to count with my fingers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And division, I really have to think about it, you know, and then multiplication. I know some, I know fives, nine, eight times five, 40, but that's because I've memorized it so many times. And fives are five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to five. But that's the only reason, not because I really know it. You know what I mean? Um, I can't. Like if I go to the store with my mom and it says 20% off from a number from what the cost is, I can't figure that out. 
So I told my mom to do it for me. Mom, what's 10% off of this or that? I really can't do that. I can't, I can't measure things. Ounces, even at work, I always have to keep asking my coworkers how much, how many ounces is in a pound. I don't even remember anymore, <laughs> you know? Um, when it comes to directions, I can't memorize directions unless I go to a friend's house like more than five times and then memorize because of the houses and stuff and buildings. Like I'm very visual, but with numbers, like I need my GPS system at all times. And back then when I didn't have an iPhone and I didn't have a GPS, that's the reason why I wouldn't go out and have fun and be like if I was invited to go somewhere, I wouldn't go just for that reason of me having that fear of getting lost. So that's another problem. But I if it wasn't for my GPS system, you know, I'd still be antisocial and not go anywhere. Um what else? Um And like if you give me a flashcard, because I, I saw an example. If you give me a flashcard and you put like the numbers in order, you can probably figure out how many you know shapes. But I actually have to count them. I have to go one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, and I you know. It's and then sometimes when I take orders at work and they say, for example, five of these and four of those. In my head, it I reverse it, and then I do four of these and five of those, and then I get the whole order wrong. So I always make sure that I ask the person like three times. Even if they get annoyed, I make sure that I ask them so I can write it down. Five of these and four of these. So, yeah. That's that. So, it's frustrating because... My parents don't even understand that situation. I feel like they're so ignorant with the situation. And that's why I haven't graduated, guys. So I've passed all the other classes. And it's just the math that is really fucking me over. And it's so frustrating because I already want to graduate. I remember when I was little, middle school, I'd cry my eyes out trying to do math homework. Because I couldn't understand it. Even if my dad repeated it 20 times, especially with division, the, this, 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 do it again. He had to repeat it again. Okay, this, 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 this. And then I could think, I could, I could remember it like for five seconds and then that's it. So, yeah. And I'm pretty ashamed of it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because it's like, who wants to feel stupid, you know? And I know it's it's not my fault, it's not my intention, but that's an issue and with with my life and work wise and and it sucks because sometimes at work, um talking about work, I have to get ready for work. Um he has an old school register, so if sometimes if, if they're like they give me a dollar of ten and they give me like quarters and shit. I already don't know what to give them back, so it's frustrating. I have to get the calculator. Or just believe them in what they say that I have to give them. And I can get in trouble for that. But that's one issue. So, and I don't even, I don't even close a register at night for that reason, because I don't want to fuck up with anybody's money, so... So yeah, if anybody's going through that issue, I don't know if any, you know, I could probably help because nobody really knows about this. Everybody knows about dyslexia, but nobody knows about the math disability. So that's what I wanted to have been on. It's frustrating, especially when your family members don't even understand that shit. I feel like I need to, like, get a whole pack of videos and then show it to them so I can understand that shit. So yeah, that's basically it. Have a great week. And um, see you guys later. Peace.